Right, we're on. Today's chat is about sequencing in the golf swing. It's been discussed a million times about how to sequence the golf swing. But today we're going to look at it slightly differently. It's not just the body that sequences, so we talk about sequence from swinging the downswing from the feet up. And as I say, we've heard that a million times. But there's another part of your golf swing that sequences. Se needs to sequence. Sequences? Se that's today's topic. Right before we start, if you click that little subscribe button, that'd be much appreciated to everyone who's already subscribed. Thank you very much. I bring content twice a week to the channel to try and make golf more fun and make it a little bit easier to understand because let's be honest, it's not the easiest game in the world, is it? If you've subscribed, thank you. If you've not subscribed, now's your chance. It's free. Let's go on with the video now, shall we? So we're talking sequence in the golf swing today. We've talked a million times, as I've just mentioned, about sequence in the golf swing and how we sequence from the feet up, top of the backswing, Feet start to turn, knees, hips, chest, shoulders, arms, hands, grip, shaft, sweet spot. And that's how we sequence the golf swing. But today that's not what we're talking about. Oh no, today's different. Today we're going to talk about a part of the body that sequences that you can feel it a lot better. So the sequence is through the hands. The only point of contact with the golf club is the hands. For us to sequence the swing from the feet up is very tricky because it's body orientated, it's pivot driven. But if we can control the hands, which are the command posts of the golf swing, then we can control a certain area of sequence within the golf swing. Sequence, sequence. That's right. So talked in the past on a video the 12 minute video, as you've all watched, of course you've all watched it, about how the wrists and the hands and everything work through impact and how we create that lag. Now if you grab three golf clubs, take three golf clubs to feel lag, to feel the club being behind the body. So take three clubs, up the top of your swing, and you'll feel how the body has to work to swing them. You can't just pull the hands and arms down, and that is a form of sequencing. That feeling of the weight is really making sure that my body does what it's supposed to do through impact. But we're not so much focusing on body today, we're going to focus on the hand. The right hand in particular. That's this one, the one with no glove. So you'll notice the sequencing on the way down. What I want to feel is, I want to feel as though the right elbow leads the right wrist on the way down. So from the top of the swing, the right elbow leads the right wrist. So elbow is ahead of wrist to halfway down. And then of course the hand's going to come in line with the elbow. So I'll come down, 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 down. Right elbow's leading, leading the right wrist. And then at some point into impact, they will marry up. Now this sequence here, we need to get the elbow to lead the right wrist and the right wrist to lead the right knuckles. So the elbow leads the right wrist, the right wrist leads the right knuckles into impact. Knuckles being one, two, three, four. So you can see there is bending of the right wrist into impact. Elbow comes down, elbow comes down, hand, wrist gets in line with, but then these knuckles are stuck behind. These knuckles are behind the wrist. So I'm there, elbow, wrist comes in line with the elbow, and then continues through, but the knuckles lag to the wrist. That motion, there. And when you swing with three golf clubs, you can feel that. So just lower that camera slightly so you can see elbow first, wrist matches up, but then the knuckles are behind. So knuckles are behind wrist. That's in front of wrist. It's in line with wrist, which is acceptable. That's behind, that is perfect. We don't want to lead with, we don't want to get here and get knuckle, uh, wrist or knuckles first there before elbow. We're elbow, wrist, knuckles. So it's elbow, wrist, knuckles. Then when I take three golf clubs, I can feel the weight up the top. And then coming down, I can really feel how that works. I've got that press forward, that bent right wrist at impact, which of course flattens the left wrist. That's naturally going to happen. Using the weight of three golf clubs, I can feel how that happens. Elbow, wrist, knuckles. Elbow, wrist, knuckles in that action. So three clubs to feel that. Really feel, so you'll feel the body obviously sequencing itself correctly, but you'll also be aware the right elbow is the lead going halfway down the downswing. What lags to that? Right wrist, what lags to that? Right knuckles. Then play little soft ones. 
trying to capture that motion we've just had. You can see there's an element of dropping hands because I'm getting elbow to work, elbow, wrist knuckles, elbow, wrist knuckles, elbow, wrist knuckles. So a little bit soft hands is going to help there. Short ones, elbow, wrist knuckles, trying to feel that. Could hear good the strike was there. Again, good again. Elbow leads the shot from the top. That's my feeling there. Elbow comes down to right side. Wrist lags to that. Then knuckles. So there's obviously forward shaft lean. Those are all good. Increasing length of swing. Visualising the forward shaft lean, what gets me into forward shaft lean? Elbow, wrist, knuckles, shaft leaning forward. You see that? You see the club head stays up there. As I create that motion, club head's up behind me. I've not thrown club head down, stayed behind me. Again, able to feel how the, the elbow starts it. But the wrist and the knuckles, so, so important. So you can increase the length of swing as you go, but as I say, the wrist and the knuckles, so important. It's all very well starting with the elbow. We have to make sure that we've got that forward shaft lean or that pressure being applied by the right hand to make sure the knuckles stay behind the wrist. Pressure being applied by the right hand to make sure the knuckles stay behind the wrist is basically that. There we go. So we've got elbow and then we've got to there. So we're doing that action there. So I've talked about this before, we'll be dragging the wet mop, then not stopping and pushing it. We continue dragging the wet mop, and you can see the forward shaft lean and how the, the wrist is ahead of the knuckles in that position there. So increasing length of swing, let's just take two more clubs, add them together just to feel what I'm going to be doing here in the full shot. And there. Feel a connection between right elbow and right hip. And then the byproduct of that is the wrist leading the knuckles. Okay, I've primed myself. I can feel it. Good, so slightly longer swing. It's just pure. Oh, that was fun. Gain. Elbow, wrist, knuckles. It's just slapped out there. That's a sequence. Imagine I could get the body to work first as well. Oof, let's try it. Mistimed it. Let's just go back to what we're doing. Eh? It was a classic golf move. You've done two or three good shots and you think, that's me, I've got it. Take it to the extreme, go a little bit further. Push yourself over the edge. Now I need to bring myself back because strike there was really poor. So let's not run before we can walk. Let's go back to walking. The shorter shot. Elbow, wrist, knuckles. In that sequence, strike again. Back to where it was. A little slight increase in length of swing here. Elbow, wrist, knuckles. Oh yeah. There we go. Full swing, elbow, wrist, knuckles, let's run. Okay, we're running. It was good to regroup and take it back a bit, wasn't it? So there we go, there's all certain areas in the golf swing that we can sequence in, and there's a lot to think about, obviously, and the body sequence, vastly important. Of course it's important, but certainly just thinking about the only point of contact with the golf club is your hands. So if we can get some form of sequence through there, feeling elbow, down to wrist, down to hands, then club head's way behind. We'll get forward shafting, we'll get penetrating ball flight and ball turf strike, which is key to good golf. Right, we're nearly at 50,000 subscribers. Thank you very much, every one of you. So everyone that's subscribed already is in the draw. I'm going to do a draw or some form of giveaway once we get to 50,000, ideally 55, but we'll stop at 50 and I'm going to give some equipment away, I'm not sure what that is. So if you hit the subscribe button below, that would be much appreciated. Also the thumbs up um, icon, that shares it around YouTube and helps me with the algorithm. And also the bell notification, gives you instant notifications of all my videos. Thank you very much, see you in the next video.